一粒葵花籽的否定句，致爱未未。不能想象这瓷质的江水中，曾泊着杜甫的扁舟。我不认识月光，只看见诗句的皎洁在一行行衰减，致无人，致象征，谈论一切。又回避一切。我不是象征，死在一粒葵花籽儿硬壳下的太阳，也不是。孩子们雪白坍塌的肉，并没有消失。一条破小的地平线，不可能忘了那阵疼。骨头被玻璃切开时，像玻璃，来不及叫喊。才不得不在每天的曙光中叫喊。一场地震不会停止，一种窒息不在死后。种植到天边的栅栏，靠着更难堪的沉默。因此，我不怕。年轻女警察审视我的裸体，它被烧制成型，和你的，呃，并无区别。不知道别的罪，除了亿万次加深自己的罪，不落进泥土，只落进流不动的江水中。不在乎石头含着的金黄，得继续含着，像滴杜甫的老泪。不让这首诗沉沦为冷漠死寂的美。Sunflower seeds, lines of negation. This translation, by the way, is by Brian Holton and Bill Herbert. For Ai Weiwei. Unimaginable that Tu Fu's little boat was once moored on this ceramic river. I don't know the moonlight, see only the poem's clarity attenuated line by line to a non-person, to the symbols discussing and avoiding everything. I know symbol, a sun dying under the sunflower seed's hard shelf, nor is the sun snow-white collapsed meat of children. Nor have I disappeared, daybreak's horizon impossibly forgot that pain. Bones like glass sliced by glass. I didn't scream, so must scream at each first light. An earthquake never stands still. No need to suffocate the dead, planting rows of fences to the ends of the earth, handcuffing ever more shameful silence. So I don't fear the young policewoman interrogating my body. It was formed by fire, no different to yours, knowing no other way to shatter but a hundred million shatterings within myself, falling into no soil, only into the river that cannot flow, that cares nothing for the yellow flower within the stone, having to go on to hold back, like a drop of Du Fu's old tears. Refusing to let the poem sink into dead, indifferent beauty. Thank you, young man. Thank you, Stephen. Um, and also, thank you to the translators. <coughs> I don't know if they're here, but to Brian Holton and William Herbert, because they. I don't speak Chinese, but I, I, I'm just listening to this English the, the poem. It's, it's an extraordinary and a powerful beginning to today, I think. So, so thank you. Um, welcome, everybody. Welcome to Free Word and, and welcome to China Inside Out. I'm Rose Fenton, I'm the director of Free Word. And um, just for those of you who don't know, I'd just like to say a few words about what we are, what we represent. Under this roof, there are a number of remarkable organisations working across literacy, literature and free expression. 
organisations like English Pen, Index on Censorship, um, the Book Trust, the Reading Agency, many of us. And it's a unique organisation in the world in that it crosses all these areas. Um, and together, working together, we aspire to be a global meeting place for literature, argument, and free thinking. And to really somehow excavate and dig into the official discourses, to challenge them. And to do so, of course, with serious intent, but also with a sense of playfulness. And I think that the day that's been put together with China Inside Out really demonstrates how that can work. Serious intent with playfulness and challenge. And um, to say a few words about it, Jonathan. Thank you, very thank you and welcome and enjoy the day. I really have very little to add to that. I think we're all keen to actually sort of start, start to have this, 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 this conversation. But I think that the, the, the underlying principle of the day is that we're here to celebrate writing. We're here to celebrate writing in an open space, which isn't just about aesthetics, which, in which we're aware of the political, social, cultural context in which writing is produced and is, and is read. We're here to think about the way in which China is read in the West and the way in which China writes and reads itself and the constraints on that, but also the capacity for liberation and freedom. We're not here to propose a single narrow way of understanding China. There are 90 or 100 of us in the room. I'm sure that means there are 90 or 100 completely different ways of thinking about and understanding contemporary Chinese writing. By the end of the day, maybe 10,000 um, different ways as we start to challenge ourselves. So the, the idea is to have an open space for enjoyment, celebration, but also for critical thinking, um, free of political um, constraints. Um, I hope you enjoy that, I hope you appreciate that, I hope you, you participate in that. Um, but to, to begin, I'm very pleased to welcome my old friend and colleague, Julia Lovell, who will chair the first of today's sessions. Thank you.